Hey Legionnaires, welcome back, we're here with another NTW3 battle feud today and we already are starting off with a potentially catastrophic start for the French here as we have some uh, 12 point Prussian, well France Prussia after here is about to get swarmed by Cariel, it didn't look like it was until it seems to have just decided to, I don't know what they're doing here, their pathfinding is, but why they did not go for the artillery, I do not know. But yeah, already starting off with a potentially catastrophic start there for the French, already getting more cavalry, like, like charging more squares. So yeah, what is this cavalry doing? Like, could have just taken out that artillery, like, so early on, and instead, here it is, just standing like an idiot. But yes, we have a glorious 4v4 here, as we have three French armies, one Danish army as well, so here, for those that are Danish lovers. And the Danish currently are taking on the Russians out here, and they're actually putting in some cavalry charges of their own. Sitting in some, uh, some dragoons here. Looks like they're taking on the Russian dragoons. This is like it's 1807, sort of Russia, that sort of era. Certainly it's the early period. We've got the guards here actually of Russia coming forward as well. Oh god, they've got some nasty ass units here coming forward. So we'll see how they do. The, uh, the Danish are taking up a position around this town. Um, it looks like it's going to be the main point of engagement here for the two sides. We've got some uh, some more like Ritter and some, yeah, some more Ritter out there for the Danish. They might want to think about bringing this over here um, because we have a Flemish army somewhere right at the back here. Yeah, the 1815 uh, Flanders army. And oh boy, did they bring a lot of cavalry and a lot of heavy cav. They just went all cavalry, really. Carabineers, we've got uh, Curassias here. We've got Dragoons. We've got more cuirassiers, more dragoons as well, like Les Blancs. So we've got, yeah, a lot of French cavalry being brought here. Another cuirassier unit there. I think they brought, like, maybe, like, one infantry unit and an artillery unit. They're sorted. Um, we also have a uh, 10 point, like, Austria 1809. And, like, we saw at the start, we have the, the Prussian campaign one as well. So, uh, yeah, there's 1806, 12 point uh, Prussia. So, it's going to be an interesting one, that is for sure. And we've got 1807 uh, Russia over there. We have. The, uh, like the Peninsula Campaign, I can't remember which era this one is, but it's like the um, the Anglo, the Anglo-Spanish one. We also have the uh, Austrians here. And we have, who else do we have? I think we have maybe two Anglo, I think we have two Ang uh, like Peninsula Campaign armies, but I'm not entirely sure. I think we do, because there's one here and there's one by that village over there. So, certainly going to be an interesting one, that is for sure. And the battle is starting off, really, with uh, the Russians taking on the Danish. A clash over the Baltic, you could say. They actually have two guard units there, maybe three. You look like guards as well. Yeah, they're all actually... A lot of guards, you know, Russian infantry actually as well fighting alongside the, um, alongside these, like, Russians. That's kind of making for an interesting one, that's for sure. I can see, uh, more, pr um, I saw it, oh, I'll call Prussian cab, they're not. They are Danish cav, and they're Danish going in, they're taking on these Ruskies, and they are actually doing pretty well, to be fair. They're actually, you know, making some decent headway, and I thought this was one unit, but this is actually two, I thought, my gosh, there's lots of huge units there. Whether they can form the square, that's a different thing. These uh, Dragoons might be able to have some pretty good joy here against the the Russian infantry. If they can defeat the, the Russian Cav, it seems like there's maybe one unit of it. It doesn't seem like Russia has a large army, that's for sure. And this, this guard army seems pretty small. We've got Grenadiers in fact going in here. These are like, I'm sure these are lifeguard Grenadiers in fact. Uh, oh no, they're just normal Grenadiers. I know that most of the lifeguards have like this cool bright blue, like blue. Looks like they're going to fail in this assault. This is not a good idea. Oh my gosh, yeah, no, this is not going well. Where is their artillery? They could do a setting up artillery, which they are doing now. Some pounds are setting up. Looks like they're going to go in. we also got the Danish cab going back in. This Ritter going in. He's now being challenged by the, uh, the cavalry here. Oh, it looks like a, a Dragoon unit. They routed that one. They're now going to go on to the uh, Dragoons here, which they've already beat them once. And yeah, Denmark in a real rough position already very early on here. Yeah, uh, look. Oh wow, yeah, they grabbed that one even quicker. Yeah, they're gonna need that other cavalry unit over here very shortly. Oh, the Danish, where is it? It's down here still. They need to move it. Uh, the French should be fine. At least I hope so. At least I hope so. There's a lot of cab movement over here. A lot of generally just running around going on. That's why I think we can see these units. Lots of Spanish cavalry. 
and also Prussian infantry shifting around, trying to get quickly over to the to the, the Danish flank by the looks of it. I'm not sure. Seems like the Allies are a bit out of position, not really ready to go. The British heading up here on this uh, sort of tree line here along this road. Yeah, the Danish and the Russians engaging very early on here. Everyone else is not quite ready for battle. And that seems to be working in favor of the coalition because the Danish are getting steamrolled at the moment. A lot of casualties going down here. Good thing that the Danish aren't facing the British. Because, uh, I mean, the two sides with, like, red coats on could be quite confusing. But yes, here we go. The Russian cab going in. And they are... I don't know if these units are squareable. They're not. So the light infantry unit here getting taken out. Morale is already not looking great here for the, uh, for the Danish. Yeah, I mean, this one forms square is great, but, um, should have been on the flank really, I feel. Yeah, the Danish lines, oh my gosh, this is getting blitzed. These guards units here especially, and the healthy 200-man units just blitzing, and then broken the guns, oh no. Yeah, Denmark's getting blown away here. Uh, and also you got to think that, like, France, in theory, is really down an army, because they don't have, like, a, they have a lot of cav, a lot of heavy cav, but, um, yeah, instead of having infantry. Cavalry charging in here, we've got Austrian Hussars going in, going to try and deal with damage to this uh, infantry in here. Got a general under attack as well, what the heck is happening here? Oh my gosh, did they just, like, get a shot off there, nay? I just get a shot off on Nay from there. It's incredible. Wait a minute, are they firing their guns that way? Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> They're shooting their own cavalry. What is going on in this game? I don't know. That was that was chaotic, to say the least. What on earth is going on there? Shooting their own general and their own cavalry. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say that this game, bit of a wild one. A bit of a low, maybe a bit of low player quality skill, I don't know, but it'll be interesting to see what goes on. Um, I've been told that it's a bit of a comeback uh, for Denmark. Denmark has started off rough, but it, it kind of turned it around a little bit on this flank, but we'll see whether they, it's, it's enough. Because Russia right now is just healthy, they just like look to no losses there. I don't think they maybe lost like, maybe an infantry did, that was, I don't even think they did, did they, to the Grenadiers? I think they only think they lost anything, my gosh. That's incredible. Yeah, this Danish player is uh, just giving out position now played at the moment. I don't know if the Russians brought in the artillery. The artillery might not have made it up in time because it's a rapid advance that the Russians are doing. Go on, fire a volley for Denmark. Oh, the Russians have men into this building. They're not about it. Oh, that's hilarious. They'll just like crash into the door and then just get inside. That's hilarious. There you go, building tactics though. Return the volley. Hit those damn Ruskies. Yeah, they're inside. That's good. Hopefully now with the reinforcements, the French arriving, maybe that can help turn the tide. We'll see. We have got some, some cavalry here that got routed by, uh, by infantry here. Looks like just like some Spanish cavalry or something like that came forward. It's really chaotic. It, like, the battle lines are just, like, scattered. Like, what is this? The battle line. We've got one British unit behind another, so it's just, like... Imagine there's friendly fire going on here. Same here as well. I don't know what's going on here. Like, what is going on? It's the messiest battle I've ever seen. There's cavalry going behind here. We got so yeah. This is the other Prince army. We have the uh, the Anglo-Portuguese one here. They're trying to take out this general here. They're taking out taking out Van Dam. But uh, there's a bunch of cuirassiers here. Oh, this is Austria's cuirassiers. So. They weren't the only uh, the only French faction to bring cuirassiers. Okay, and they broke Van Damme. My gosh. They actually managed to pull it off. That is incredible. Well, I kind of had hope for the French in this game. But uh, it's certainly seeming like an absolute shit show right now of the battle. But I hope you guys are enjoying this chaos. If you are enjoying the NCW3 action the and would like to see some more, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show you what it really does mean a lot to the channel as we work towards AK subs. And the guardsmen, as we expected, cleared out that building. Building lost, the Danes are gone, and the Russians will keep on going. I don't think they're going to bother garrisoning this building. I wouldn't. These units are like 200 men in size, and that building can only hold 72 men. Not worth it. 
Really not worth it. And the French are in real trouble. Brits getting really close. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on here. We've got like um, the Scots guards here, I believe the student is. Really close. Uh, go for a charge if they wanted to. Like, what is going on with this just setup? Here we go, in the bayonet charge they go. I feel like this is just like for the new players playing for the first time together and learning what this game is like. I was sent this replay and said, I said, oh, it's quite an interesting one. I'm intrigued to see how this is going to turn around. This is like some of the worst microwing I've seen. I know I'm not a player, a player. I know not to blob up like this in front of a cannon, for starters. But my god, fire gun pressure, France. Like, hit, just hit something. You can't miss. You can grab so much with your canisters. I feel like Russia out on that flank is playing properly and then we just have Britain here kind of memeing. I'm gonna see... Oh my gosh, they look how close they're trying to get. Why do they try and get so close? And now France just poured a volley on him and now just gonna charge in. He's charging the back of his own men as well. Britain, so that's not the hell. Yeah, they've rattled a lot there. Oh yeah, Britain made a huge mistake there. Go. At least this friend seems like he's set up properly, ready for a fight. I'm flabbergasted. I really am. Uh, some of the stupidity I saw over there. We've got Highlanders here ready to go. Hopefully they don't fire this infection reserve. We got looks like um, Portuguese cav out here on this flank here, ready to go. Won't be a match for any of these heavy cav, but it's cav nonetheless. Austria seems a bit of a mess, to be honest. He needs to reset his lines. Like, just look at what um, this British army is doing here. This is doing well. This British army here as well is actually, like, taking to town. The Austrian army currently. They're forcing them back. They've got a good position here. The Grenadiers are the line set up. Here, well ready to go in. Lots of Grenadiers are lying. Wow. Someone got the memo that I like Grenadiers are the line from France. And brought a whole bunch of these guys. Glorious, it really does. I've seen that many. Near a carry charge. What the heck is it? Is it over here? There's charging going on over here, but I don't know if it's the French cab. Goons are broke. I'm really not sure. There's also cavalry fighting going on back here, but I think that's just cavalry running up. You can see the Spanish cab running around wildly. This is turning into a bit of a character, and we have a charge here. Here we go, Portuguese cap did try and challenge his Grenadiers. And uh, most of my thoughts are on the square. Yeah, two of them definitely can. Or maybe one of them can. They just chose not to. Well, the cuirasses here as well that are helping clearing up stuff. Uh, an ally general's dead. Uh, this is... Okay, Van Damme had re rallied and then got killed. And now we have a counter charge here by the French, all the Grenadiers. Charging and they're going to try and break through. They're getting hit hard through by volleys and morale going down. Yeah, this has been a wild fight. This has just been... I've got Curassus doing as well. The British can form square. Most of the units can form square. So you need to do that. Save yourself from these Curassus. The Grenadiers as well, to be honest. So you stuff from all that. We've got more French infantry going in here. Carabineers went in. Some German grenadiers by the looks of it. Maybe from um maybe from Bavaria or Baden or something like that. Yeah, they're doing their bit. They broke through there. They smashed these Portuguese troops. And this is going so well, it's like Austria's now trying to flank. He's gonna try and set up a flank here against the French. Doesn't realize there's a whole French army behind him here as well. This honestly could be one of the quickest and just like stupidest games I've ever seen in NCW3. Hussar's going into the rear lines here of the Russians. Honestly, the only competent coalition player I've seen so far. Yeah, this Hussar's probably done for. They're all these squares, yeah dealt with. Denmark's still in this game. Honestly, 
He just looks like a smart player in comparison to some of these British players. They're just throwing away their armies. This British player has to manage to turn around the French charge here. Honestly, a French charge wasn't a bad idea, but yeah, it was risky. It was risky, that's for sure. We've got an artillery here that's now just setting up and it's going to try and drag its artillery out of there. This Austrian army is just about to uh, get destroyed as well, unless he can get saved by the British here. We have got the, Fla the Flemish army now arriving with its cavalry. It's all kind of just off in different spots. I don't know what they've been doing with the carabineers and stuff. Have they been using these guys? Or have they just been shooting them again with their own artillery? Honestly, couldn't know or tell. There's been a lot of use. I think they have actually been using them. Whether they've... They haven't done a lot of damage to anything by the looks of it, though. Can't see exactly... Can't see where they died, either, to be honest. Who knows? All the action is starting to go over on this side here, really. But the French are retreating. The Austrians are charging everywhere, which is going to exhaust your men. Never, this is a big no-no in NTW3. This is definitely a battle on how not to play NTW3. Got a British cab going in here. Oh, these are good cab as well. This cab has been running a long way. Oh my gosh, there's a firing line for the French. I don't even need to worry because that cab just appeared there in slow mo. So I don't think the French should worry about being charged too hard yet. This cab's not going to take forever to run away because it's tired. Jeez. France is. Yeah. Then reset up here. It looks like Austria is going to keep charging in. Going after this uh, horse artillery here, trying to do its best there. The other French army, the uh, like the Austrian one, rallied a bit over here, being chased by a bit of the British army. I don't think that's all of it, but it's some of it. The rest of the British army is being set up down by those trees, and we have got cuirasses now going in. Cuirasses going in, and they're going to try and rally these Austrians. And they probably do it because the Austrians are blobbed up. They're getting fired on by volleys. Once one routes, they all will start to route. There you go. Like I said, one, two, three, four. This will be the fifth one in a minute. This cuirass is going to keep piling on into them. They're going to actually go into this infantry over here. There you go. Somehow that French artillery also survived. I don't know how it's managed that, but congrats. We have a good British force over here as well. I mean, this British army is healthy. It's just it's being poorly used. I mean, there's British, uh, there's French cabin behind me here, dragoons, looking for opportunities to go after some stuff. Go after these Portuguese infantry if they wanted to. Like, at the moment, the French are actually being sandwiched by, um, like, Russians. It's like a messy fight with lots and lots of just terrible tactics. Oh, was that a general this guy, then? Another general? Okay, the dragoon just charged in and took out the Austrian general. Okay, what the heck? Um, but we did also just leave as the Russians took out French artillery here. They're going into all sorts of infantry here, just trying to route it. Doing a pretty good job as this uh, Russian cab here. But yeah, the French are currently getting sandwiched. I mean, if the Austrians had stayed alive, they were about to sandwich an entire French army here between Russians, British, and Austrians. But instead, it's now between British and Russians. And I still don't know if they have enough. There's a... There's a British general up here for some reason. What the heck? What's going on? What is this? Have I just like fallen into like it's another charge over here by Britain? General. Yeah, general killed. I imagine that's the one here. Yeah, what the heck? I've come into some sort of like nightmare of NTW3 and having to play it. Um got dragoons here that have been nearly routed. There's like one unit that forms square while all the rest of the British troops have just been routed because I don't know, they charged something or just refused to charge. I think they just got broken by a cavalry that just got set upon. Whether they could form square, I don't know. They keep charging their cavalry from so far back. Like, walk it forward. You can't charge like a million miles with cavalry in NCW3. It's not like normal total war, total war, which is definitely just what the players are trying to play it as. It just doesn't work like that. 
This Russian player likes it to be quite competent. He knows what he's doing, he seems. I don't want to be too critical on um, on the players because they might be like some newer players. We're just kind of messing around, but if they're messing around, it's sad to see. Well, the French cav kind of being made a bit, made a bit redundant with all these squares. We've got another cav charge coming forward here by the Russians. I think he's going to go after the artillery here, setting up a good good target. I feel like they're not messing around because the Russian, at least the Russian players, like I said, he's playing quite confident. He's going after good targets. He's taking out that gun for sure. Or to get out of there. It's a good, um, good result for this cavalry here. And I feel like the British player for like a small, like a bit over here was playing quite smart. He was like managed to get on the hill, was firing down. The Austrian player, I don't know what he was doing. And the other British player, yeah, we don't talk about this British player. The Anglo-Portuguese one did great, the Anglo-Spanish one not so well. Fighting back to back at the moment here are the French. They're in a real, real bad spot. Got cavalry going in here, Russian cab taking out. We're gonna try and take out Jurassic. Might be one too many fights for them here. Yeah. We have actually got a. We have actually also got French captain and Carabineers routing through there. It's great to see. Yeah, it looks like it's though Russia now could be in a real, real bad spot here, where it could be about to see like the collapse of his left flank here. His infantry here get about to get routed. The, uh, the Austrian campaign starting to turn it around here with support of the Flemish. The cavalry here, Carabineers here, milking those kills. We might also just put out, point out, Denmark's still alive here, still alive doing bits. And yeah, the Russian army, all of a sudden, about to just capitulate with the, uh, the loss of that cav. Really was actually, like, kind of, kind of major. The guards are still alive. But they're in a bad spot themselves. The nowels are, like, kind of sam well, they were sort of sandwiched, I guess. If the cav gets back around, they've got nowhere to go. French lines now can turn and face what remains of the British. Oh gosh, I just it drives me mad watching this cavalry play and how they're playing. They're charging around like idiots. Break already. Look, now they're going to charge off this cavalry here. Just, oh, they break. Jurassic did really well there. Broke loaded up. Austrians that have returned. The Austrians, yeah, it's just no point mentioning that they've returned. Britain is setting up down here and is taking on. Like his entire army right now looks like he's taking on both together. An interesting position. His artillery at least seems like he's in a, in a pretty good position at the moment. On this hill, it's firing across definitely all his French. It's a pretty good spot. What else he got here? He's got the, uh, looks like some, some riflemen, maybe the, uh, the 60 rifles or the 95th. He's got more artillery up here, actually. That's the, uh, this is the Anglo, uh, Anglo-Spanish. Army, they also, it's not a bad, actually no, it's kind of like the, looks like it's going to bounce all their shots. Yeah, the Russians are basically dealt with. Big win there for the uh, for the French. They've got the two guards unit left though. That could be, they could still be pretty scary. And yeah, right now, I mean, the amount of kills this cavalry must be getting, like free kills they're getting just from running down all these infantry. It's been insane. Brennan on the run once again. To be fair, he's actually playing like fairly confidently now. He's like in column, he's like you know, running away, do, pulling back when he needs to. He's got some reserves up here, in fact. Whether they're just returned infantry or whether these are just many kept in reserves. I'm gonna go with returned infantry. It's tiny little Portuguese boys. He's got a good position for his artillery, his other artillery here. He's got some pretty big guns up here. Doing some decent damage. Oh yeah, these are both Anglo-Spanish guns actually. These are the Anglo-Portuguese ones. Yeah, they're not well defended at least. Don't know about um, don't know about positioning. This one's a bit better. Can't really see what they're firing at though from here. Firing through bushes. 
The Austrians setting up their guns. I mean, they actually look like they're about to break at any second now. And Britain is on the uh, on the retreat once again. France has got a couple of units set aside to go and deal with these Ruskies. Go and get some revenge. Got, I think they're all like German infantry as well. Not even saying sending the proper French after them. How disrespectful. These guys nearly took on two, maybe three armies on their own. Any cavalry? I didn't think there was much cavalry left, but there is. We have got some dragoons going in. They're going to deal with this artillery from the Austrians. It was nearly breaking anyway. It is now going to break properly. Nicely done there by the French. Now, can they charge into all this infantry of the British that is just standing here? Yep, they can. They could be in real trouble here for Britain. A lot of these units could just break. They're just caught out of square. Looks like Britain is going to try and counter charge this cavalry. I mean, surely the Dragoons will just be able to outpace them, but maybe not. I don't know, these guys are getting pretty close. Nope, they give up. No, this cavalry is actually could break in a second. Here we cut. Here comes the 12-point France. They are going to just try and descend now on what remains of Britain. I think Britain's going to try and defend this hill. Um, you can see that the dragoons aren't going to let that happen. They're going to try and get around. They're going to go on this road, try and maybe push further. They could go for the, try and go for the general for the guns. They get there before the infantry. That's for sure. And that's what I'd be going for. Um, I keep this, these other like cavalry units coming forward as well. We've got the dragoons. We've got infantry just randomly scattered back here as well. Get these guys forward. Your is back there. I can hear He's charging in. Oh, they're going after the artillery over here, I think. There's a bunch of skirmishes just taking out artillery. Well, don't think I'd see that today. Skirmishes just taking out artillery crews. But it worked. There you go. And um, we've got the carry over here. Pretty banged up. I'm having to deal with infantry. Oh, there's infantry in this building. Britain was prepared. They've got some Portuguese guys into that building. And they're prepared. So, yeah, the French have to go wide, wide now to try and, try and get that general. Which they might not be able to do now. Britain is nearly back at this little, like, stake line that they have set up. Why are you still firing back here, um, Austria? Like, you're, you're doing nothing here. Get moving. Got a whole bunch of infantry. Finally, they seem to wake up and get a move on. Our men are running. For Unfortunately, it looks like uh, Wellington or whoever it is is in charge of this br British mess. As uh, routed the dragoons here. The British are like going to try and hold here as well. Not a bad spot to hold. I'd certainly try and get up that hill. Or at least try and get to the state line and use the artillery to sort of cover you. I guess it's sort of are where they are now, but... They can certainly be outflanked. Russia looks like he's rallied a little bit on this side here. He's got some, uh, some guardsmen. He's got some base infantry that seem like they've returned over here. Um, some Prussians that are fighting for him and so some musketeers. So he's trying to make himself a bit of a hassle, a bit of a problem. His line infantry here is actually having some issues and breaking. I keep these grenadiers in the line alive because there's a building in here that might need taking. Like unless they've got any more, then they definitely need to keep that grenadier unit alive and healthy. The rush this building here. Don't want to be. Otherwise, I don't want to be super aggressive with it. But yes, if you want to send in your own NTW3 replays, you think I've got something Pope would enjoy, something a bit more uh, close and epic. I mean, this is relatively close. It's a bit chaotic and messy. If you've got something you think, you know what, Pope will enjoy this, feel free to send it into the Discord. The link is down below in the description. You're more than welcome to send in your own replay. 
Grenadiers because they have the featured on the channel. I'm always interested in what you guys are up to. And Grenadiers break that unit there, did nicely, but and broke themselves, sadly. I wonder whether that, that uh, decision there will come to cost them, as the, uh, the Grenadiers are probably one of the units that could definitely take in that building. Got plenty of line infantry here that... I don't know, good struggle. I mean, it is Portuguese in there, it's not the hardest thing in the world, but... I mean, it could easily be swapped out for something a bit more scary, like the Scots. Or just a base British infantry unit. Here we go, looks like the French can try and catch the British here. Looks like they might do it. Scott's going in as well as a whole bunch of Brits going in. This is not a good idea. Don't throw more of your men in here, Britain. You're better in a line fight, not in a in a melee fight like this. It's not worth it. It's not worth dying for. It. Oh, sorry, just also, I think firing canister. I think that's breaking their own men. I'm not sure. I think it's, they look like they're firing canister at the French. Got even more infantry that's just back in. I don't know if this is fresh or if this is just like return, but this is relatively fresh. We've got the French charging on the guns. They're gonna break these guys pretty easily, I imagine. This guy's just chilling by a grave, yeah, by a gravestone. Ah, it's soon to be his gravestone, that's for sure, as the French coming with bayonets to a Shouting, Viva le Napoleon! Viva la France! There you go. Seems as though the British being removed from their position. They're still not dead, but uh, a little more dead, you could say. The Russians here are still trying to, trying to retreat. I think they're trying to get over to the British. Doesn't seem like it's working too well. I mean, these Russian guards have got pretty close. They still seem healthy. Carabineers going in. And, yeah, I mean, they did the smart thing, got out of there. There's a square forming. But here we go. The guards are going to turn around. They've decided this is their place to stand. We've got a little QRC unit coming in. They're going to form a square, the Russians. Yep. And there you go. The cavalry. Rears up, Our sends the riders packing, time. and there you go. I wonder where the guards alone here to take out the French. At the moment, these guys seem unstoppable. There you go, routed another French unit. Route this one as well. I mean, the British just need to keep uh, keep the army in the game. The Russians they can just keep picking off the old French unit. Eventually, they'll win. Eventually, it'll be a victory. What have we got back there? We've got infantry way, way back. Line infantry that the Flemish uh, Flemish French army is not even using. What a bizarre tactic. We've got the German line infantry just chasing them down. More grenadiers as well at the turn. Since they're running thing, everything everywhere, like it's getting tired. It's better just marching. Marching at normal speed, you'll catch them eventually. The French, if they wanted to as well, could now turn around and use this hill against the uh, the Russians that are coming up it. It's probably what I would think about doing soon. The British just don't seem like they're going to stop running. Until maybe they get to the next buildings. I'm really not sure. 
I'm going to fast forward a little bit because uh, there's not exactly much going on. There's just a lot of chasing going on right now. There's just not a lot of commentate. Um, there's literally no one really fighting each other. It's like the odd shot going off here and there. Um, the Russians now are treating as they see that the French are pushing down this hill. Trying to take advantage of their height that they have. I mean, we've got some Voltigares and just some just some Grenadiers of the line. I actually have a decent amount of Grenadiers of the line left. I thought these guys all routed, but it seems like they've returned bit by bit. We've got carry as well. It's just uh, the Carabineers are looking for opportunities. Maybe going for those Russians over on the far side. So we'll, uh, we'll have a look at that in about a minute. The British have turned around and are firing again. Maybe they should have kept running. Because these Piasses just keep going in. And the British refuse to form square. And these guys are one of the most capable factions of forming square. And they refuse to form square. Like, what are you doing, guys? What are you doing? Carabineers over here. They're on red morale. So they're getting hit pretty hard by the Russian infantry. Yeah, it's a pretty nasty volley. What idiots. Yeah, so it seems as though the British... If they can route the British army here, the French... GG. Done. It's going to be an all-out bayonet charge as well. Look at that. Wow. One, two, three, four, five. British infantry is breaking instantly. Might be a sixth very shortly. Seventh for sure yet. There you go. That's bringing out the game. And I think that's going to be the match. I can't see how the Russians are going to turn around now. They might as well just go in for a bayonet charge as the game is over, really. But it's certainly been a wild and wacky one. It's just a, I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of new newbies in that game. They just didn't know what they're doing or just... Yeah. I don't know. This game is just routed for good. What they need to do is they need to charge him with their bayonets. Oh, these are different grenades online, that's why. Not the, the red hatted ones. But they need to charge in with their bayonets and then get the the cabs then just rear charge. I rather these Russians easily. Because it seems like these Russian infantry here are taking the French toe to toe. I don't blame them, there's a bloody lot of these Russians. We've got artillery firing onto them now. I don't know where from, but there is artillery firing. They could do with shooting these guys in the flank. Here we go, here we go. the Russians coming forward. Now they're going to go for a bayonet charge. But you can see they're marching. This is the sign of a better player. He's, he's marching. He's not running anywhere. The running gives away positions. It makes it, makes it easy for the, the other player because you're tiring your men out instead of him tiring your men out. Yeah, they're just around this unit with fire. I think the other Russians might be dead. Oh yeah, the French have uh, the French dealt with the other Russians, but the British have returned because the British don't know when to give up in a fight. And here we go. It seems as though. The orders are going to be given, and the square is going to be formed. <laughs> Looks like the Carabineers are just about around all those guys there. That was, a, I think, a mix of volleys and cavalry there. But yeah, that is basically the fight. I'm going to just fast forward. Um, as like the French deal with what remains of the British, they just keep returning. Uh, the British, I don't think, have been forming square at all, so it shouldn't be much of an issue to do with them. We've got a cannon crew coming forward here, maybe looking for his lost guns. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, it's just then 
I think there's just two British units over here that are dueling with a French line infantry at the moment. Grenadiers of the line being held in position while the, uh, the French army repositions to deal with these damn Brits. They're annoying cousins, as you could say, but... Um, but yeah, it seems as though Britain and its forces the are going to be defeated here. I mean, Britain is just... We had one decent British player, one not so great player. I mean, you can just have your own opinion on what happened in this battle. I'm still kind of flabbergasted as to what's happened. We just watched like multiple times like bayonet charges happen, which shouldn't have happened. Cavalry charging just everywhere. So it showed itself upon the map, and there you go. Britain is routed fully. It didn't seem until like the last quarter of the game that the Allies started to play constantly. Like the uh, British player here, and then also, um, also the Russian player. But yeah, that was a an interesting fight, that is for sure. We'll quickly have a look at some of the unit stats. Unfortunately, they had disappeared, but we'll have a quick look at the unit stats here. I mean, we've got 491 kills with these Kirastias, which is an incredible uh, scoreline. Carabiniers getting 311 as well. Um, like, there's some pretty good kills. Like, I'm not going to lie. Let's see what else has got some good kills. The Dragoons, 257. Very, very nice, in fact, as well. Um, what else have we got here? Two, one, two, eight with another Dragoon unit. We've got uh, Alphonse getting 38 kills. Oh, he was a, a, a Curacy unit. I don't know whether he was the general. No, Ney was the general. That would make sense. Um, but yeah, this was sent in by um, by Pan, who was playing as uh, one of the uh, one of the French armies. Playing as the, the old Cav army, really. Um, so yeah, I don't know if this is like one of his first battles or what. But uh, I'm just having a quick look because I had like the uh, Discord to see what he kills he got. He got 1,200. Um, but yeah, well done to him, to Plock, to Bendy, Straw, to Lamarck, uh, Kiki, to Best Player, Taunt, and Wanderer. I don't know how many of them have played before, but yeah, some of them like did not do that great. Put it like that. Um, one of the British and one of the Austrian armies getting about 300 kills. But yeah, rough games, that is for sure. But if you enjoyed, guys, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. It really does mean a lot, and I'll see you guys in the next one.